very good morning to all of you mr enter narayan distinguished governor of west bengal cak and tony defense minister of india and chairman isi council dr rangarajan president of the indian statistical institute sri sikant jena minister in charge of statistics and program implementation dr bimal roy director isi distinguished members of the isi council distinguished members of the faculty distinguished guests ladies and gentlemen dear students it's indeed a very pleasant occasion for me to be present and stew on this occasion and to me it is almost a homecoming after a gap of almost 2 years i have the privilege of being associated with you long 8 years as the chairman of the council i deeply appreciate and sincerely thanks the members of the faculty members of the council and all others that most cooperation which i have received from them during my tenure as i did not get the opportunity earlier i wanted to take this opportunity to express my deep appreciation for all of them distinguished guests ladies and gentlemen dear students the foundation of this unique institution was laid by prashant chandra mahalanavish who was recognized for his pioneering work in applied statistics the grateful nation observes 29th june his birth day as statistics day all over the country he was also known an architect of the economic development planning and the second five year plan a substantial portion of which was drafted in this institute and which is popularly known as mahalanavish model of planning it was his contribution in the 1920s professor mahalanavish had a wonderful vision about the potential of statistics in creating a modern society he correctly identified statistics as a key tool for the progress of science and technology he sought to develop the statistical infrastructure in the country in 1931 he set up in one room of the presidency college in calcutta a statistical laboratory this fast breaking initiative taken more than 8 decades ego has now become a large institution isi is today reckoned as a world class academic body in theoretical and applied statistics i have fond memories of my long association which i have already narrated to you isi has produced outstanding scientists teachers researchers consultants entrepreneurs institution builders and other professional quality of isi products they can they can is a clear evidence of the high standards of education imparted by it the convocation day today marks the culmination of a fruitful record <coughs> educational exper- experiences of yet another batch of students from this institution on this occasion 
I see a palpable sense of joy and exhilaration in the students. Through the sweet pain of their labor, the graduating students have fulfilled their long cherished dreams and that of their guardians and loyal wishes. I congratulate all of you on your success and urge you to play a key role in deciding our country's path of progress. You, the bright future of our nation, have the potential to think differently, apply judiciously what you have learned here to make a lasting contribution in the field that you have chosen <coughs> to pursue. Distinguished guests, dear students, statistics as a discipline finds wide application in society. The modalities of carrying out business and government transactions have undergone a sea change over the last few years. Application of data sciences and qualitative decision making has led to a dramatic change in business and government's and governance landscape. Enhanced capability of analyzing large data has had a positive impact on our ability to formulate effective public policy. It has helped in improving transparency to ensure last mile connectivity. It has facilitated in reaching out to a large cross sections of people for wider service delivery. Improved capacity for analysis of large data sets has also led to an improvement in weather forecasting systems. This has resulted in greater accuracy in the predictions of severe climate conditions during the occurrence of natural calamities. This has accorded a crucial elbow room to carry out large evacuation and save precious human lives. Data mining and statistical techniques have also been used to initiate counter-terrorism programs like the National Intelligence Grid. Efforts have been made to introduce statistical systems for estimation and control of fake Indian currency law. I am happy to note that ISI is involved in developing technologies and theories in the area of cryptology and information security that are likely to have far-reaching impact on national security policy. The efficacy of our policy, especially in the social sector, hinges on the quality of data collected by different government agencies. Good policy call for good data standards. Great emphasis must therefore be laid on the authenticity of the information gathered so as to form the basis of policy intervention. Collection of Statistics Act 2008 seeks to facilitate the collection of data on several socio-economic and other parameters. It is the collective responsibility of the citizens and the seekers of information under this Act to ensure that correct and adequate statistics is furnished. I am sure our policies will continue to have the imprint of quality data and their sound analysis. Dear students, distinguished guests, statistical and allied techniques are dependent upon by the business for operational and strategic decision making. The corporate sector makes extensive use of statistics Allied subjects like mathematics, economics, operation research, quality management, and computer science. Data such as usual of social networking sites, footholds in large retail stores, hits on websites, and usage of the credit cards are thoroughly analyzed for widely differing purposes like uncovering regard to unknown consumer behavior, assessment of risk, detection of fraudulent transactions and discovering new customer <coughs> segments. 
it is a fact that statistical models and techniques best to great advantage to the user. However, it is prudent to also exercise due caution in analyzing large data and drawing inferences. Capturing unstructured data and converting them into a structured format are technically challenging problems. They have to be pursued in an enlightened manner. Drawing inferences call for adequate scrutiny of the theory requiring combined knowledge of the statistics and of the subject experts. In this context, it is worth remembering what Albert Camus, the famous French author and philosopher of the last century, had once observed, I quote, the evil in the world comes almost always from ignorance and goodwill can cause as much damage as ill will if it is not enlightened." Unquote. Big data analysis and ubiquitous computing have created unique opportunity. It has led to an increase in the demand of the well-trained professionals in these fields. However, as the analytic techniques are complex, they underline the need for a great deal of expertise. A large pool of the competent statisticians in the country is necessary to support the analytical needs of the public and private sectors. Our universities and academic institutions teaching statistics and allied subjects must take due care to upgrade the standards of instruction. I look upon the distinguished institution like the ISI to take the lead in transforming the academic management of these important disciplines. My dear students, as a happy coincidence, the calendar of 2014 exactly matches that of 1947, the year we started our tryst with destiny. There were a lot of hopes then and we have been successful to a great extent in realizing them. We are today in the throes of attaining the global leadership. This is possible only through the singular contribution of our all countrymen. For that, we must ensure each and every citizen of this country to partake the benefits of progress and prosperity. Today, technology provides us hope to realize the goal. Our manpower provides us the wherewithal to create and administer the technology. As you leave the portals of this institution today, remember that the skills you have gathered through intense training here can create innovative changes in the life of common folk in our country. Your knowledge of economics and quality management, your ability to gather and analyze the large data can play a significant role in improving the quality of governance and public policy. I am confident that as you move ahead, you will not only make an impact on business and technology, but also will be empathetic in shaping the destiny of our nation. We are all proud of you and left a high hope from you. Be the worthy citizen of our country. With these words, I conclude. I wish you very best in all your endeavors. I also take this opportunity to wish everyone present here a very happy, healthy, rewarding and <coughs> enduring New Year. Jai Hind!